the shift continues. August 23, 2013 I am the Great Divine Director, also known as Lord Ganesh by our Hindu friends. I come today with tidings of great joy. You are ascending. What? You say? That's news? I don't feel any different than I did yesterday. Ah, but you are different and even those who are the most resistant to change are beginning to notice something has shifted in their world, but it couldn't be them, could it? We are here to gently say, yes, it is you. You are changing. You are changing your own world. You are changing your perception of your world. You are changing inside and the changes are reflecting back to you as you look outside of your energy field. How are these changes occurring? Through a long, subtle process of rising vibration and frequency levels, the shift is happening and has been happening for a very long time. However, only in the last five years has the magnitude of changes accelerated and so most everyone on the planet are finding challenges, difficulties or opportunities cropping up for expansion in their lives depending on their outlook on life and how they view themselves. This shift of the ages as it has been labeled by the New Agers, is the movement from one age or the Kali Yuga, dark cycle of the age of Pisces to the Satya Yuga, light cycle of the age of Aquarius. And it is a part of a greater age involving the universe. Your sun is ascending, your solar system is ascending and your universe is ascending. Everything is being stepped up in frequency levels. The shift started a long while ago but has been accelerated due to the presence of light workers on the planet. And as the frequency levels increase, the souls coming into this world as babies are lighter in frequency too. There will be no return to darkness for this world. Long have the powers that be, now were, fought and resisted the influx of new energies. Linear descendants of the black magicians of Atlantis, these beings long thought that this world belonged to them. Humanity and other life forms on the planet were considered property to be used or abused. And now they are being disabused of this cavalier attitude by the rising up of the consciousness of the multitudes of humanity, as well as the increasing intensity of nature's attack on the old way of doing things, through storms, earthquakes and the such. What has been regarded as the only way to do things actually has not been in effect for very long. The grounded sacred approach of the indigenous peoples across the planet has been the target for attacks by the powers that were for many centuries, starting with the European invasions of South and North America, Africa and Asia. With the ebb and flow of civilizations, from Rome to the Holy Roman Empire and then to wholesale economic enslavement of continents, the attack on the indigenous and peasant peoples was on. However, Cycles turn and life moves in a sacred spiral. What came down is now rising. The energies of the planet are rising every moment of every day. You see the rise of energies reflected in physical changes in your bodies, reactive modes in your friends and families depending on their level of acceptance, denial or resistance to change, and in the crumbling apart of institutions long thought the foundation of the modern world. What you call the modern world has been forced upon the people, upon the animals, upon the earth. Rape, pillage, wholesale destruction of species, environments, water, air, and soil all that is needed to sustain life on this planet has been the subject of targeted abuse by international corporations and imperialistic governments, most especially Britain and the United States. Enough already. Heaven has called a halt to the dark cycle. The Kali Yuga is fading into the sunset and the new dawn of Aquarius is arriving. Transitional periods are always difficult, but this one is different than the ones before. With the fall of Atlantis, which actually occurred gradually, before the last cataclysms brought the physical demise of the last island continents, the dark magicians had discovered methods to harness the powers of crystals and of the atom. Much destruction was wrought in the name of power and control. What you are experiencing today is just a shadow of what occurred with the last violent overthrow of the Atlantean culture. Many of the humans alive on the planet today were present during the long ages of Atlantis, both during the Golden Age and the long sunset eras of her demise. Many of you played roles on both sides of the game board, dark and light, 
and are now balancing for any acts of commission or omission during those times. While these times are difficult, it is important not to judge the actions of others, outside of your energy field. Each of you was chosen to come here, to experience the transition, the bringing of the world into a new and glorious age of light and love. You have played many roles and must realize that even those who are members of the power elite have also played on both sides. The souls present are here to undergo the richness of experience as potential when such a transition is unfolding. This time period is like none other this world has ever experienced, so cherish the moments of feeling unsettled, up and down, the fullness of the sensations and sights to be felt and seen. It is a marvel to be alive, here and now, as the massive waves of light overtake and defeat the darkness that has prevailed for many thousands of years. Many sources are reminding you on a daily basis to tune into your inner being, to listen to your heart, to find that quiet space called your higher mind, to spend quality time learning about what is truly you and what is not. There is much social conditioning to overcome, but it will be done. Each of you is in the very individualized process of becoming reacquainted with yourself, the greater you who has always been here, not there with you but who you temporarily had to forget in order to become truly human for a time. For light workers, forgetting who and what you are has had sometimes painful consequences but you can chalk it up to the wealth of experience that you have gathered during the course of your time here, assisting the local population to break free of the chains of economic and emotional slavery. Not all the parts of this great story have been shared yet. The Ascended Masters and your Galactic Cousins have much to share with you when your energy levels rise enough so that you can both comfortably interface with the others on common frequency levels. We are here and unless you are an especially gifted clairvoyant, most of you cannot yet see us. However, you are becoming increasingly more sensitive to our presence and can feel us in a sudden increase in the warmth emanating from your heart center or a flush of heat in your body. Your paranormal gifts will continue to return online as you grow in your self-acceptance, adjust to the new energy levels and expand your horizons. What has been deemed beyond normal is actually just a part of what you will open back into. You are in the process of returning to the awareness that you are greater than you realize while at the same time, you are becoming more wholly human or humane with each other, all life and the world around you. Human beings are not meant to be cruel destructive or distrustful. This manner of behavior has been literally beaten into succeeding generations who were bred on fear and lack. None of these things are natural to this world or to you as a human being. And you need to forgive yourself for anything you feel that you have done wrong or out of alignment with some specious code of morals. Your leaders are in the process of displaying just how much they hold these same moral codes sacred by their insane actions of self-destruction and destruction of whole systems as they attempt to bring down entire countries in an undeclared world war of economic and physical terrorism. Each of you will return to self-mastery where no code delineates your outward behavior, but where you follow the will of the Creator because it is your will to do so. No longer forced to become anything that you are not, you will blossom into your true potential and be all that you can be. Perhaps this will occur for you in a couple of months, a couple of years or in an upcoming lifetime. Your path is set out before you, by the dictates of your soul and soul family. You will discover what to do when you get there. Now, enjoy the moments as the transition occurs. You are witnessing a miracle in action as an entire world and her population ascend from the lower third dimension to the upper fourth and eventually to the fifth. Physical ascension of an entire planet has never been done before, so it is an exciting time for us and the rest of the universe watching to see what happens next. When you get overwhelmed for a few minutes or even days, go within, dear ones, and find the smile that lingers in your heart. Know that we are ever present with you, to guide, mentor, heal and comfort. We share our love for your planet, for you and all life here. Go in peace and go with our profound love and devotion to your heart flames. Namaste. Channeled by Elizabeth Ayers Escher. BlueDragonJournal.com